One application that's commonly used in business is uh, an, an invoice system. So let's create one of those. Okay, so uh, let's uh, create a table. So we're gonna, gonna go into the A structure side and go into tables and we're gonna create a new table. We already have some in there. And this new table is going to be called customer. And we're going to save the name of that table. And we're going to create some fields for that table. So these are the columns in the table. The table's made up of rows and columns. OK, and um, this is going to have a couple of fields. Um, one of them is uh, company ID. So I already created a company ID field, a company uh, table, rather. And this is that the company is the parent table. and this field is what uh, hooks it to that. So um, we're going to give that an integer of 9. All of these uh, linking fields have to be an integer of 9. OK, company ID needs to be in capital letters. So then we hit uh, Save and Insert. OK, and now we can create another field. OK, this one is going to be a sequence of 2, and it's going to be the name field. And it's going to have a data type of care character, and the length is 30 characters. Okay, we're going to save that. Now, um, tables need to have indexes, and indexes um, help with sorting. Uh, the trade-off is if you have too many indexes, then it takes longer for the record to be saved. So we're going to have two uh, fields in this index, uh, company, ID, and name and that'll uh, keep it in sequence. And then we're going to go and save that. OK, so the customer table is done. Now let's create the employee table. There's five tables total. We're moving on to our second table. Insert the employee table. OK, I've already uh, done this before, so we can use that. And we're going to save that. We're going to add some fields. This one has uh, the most number of uh, fields. So we got one, company ID, that's an integer, and nine. We're going to hit save and insert. Two is last name. Last name is character, and 20. Save and insert. Three is first name. That's going to be a character of 20 also. We look ahead to a sequence of 4, a middle initial. That will be character, and that will only be 1. OK, and now we've got one more field in this table. And this one is a special one. Um, this is going to be called Employee ID Manager. This field will be an integer of 9, just like the others. And it's a self-join. So it's actually looking to the employee table, because uh, one employee can be a manager of another. OK, we create an index for this one now for the employee table. And on most of these, we're just going right down the line of fields. And the name of the index is automatically generated. So here, this one is company ID last name, first name, middle initial for this index. OK, and then we'll save that. OK, two tables down and three to go. Let's go back and create a product um, table. So we go to a table, and we do an insert. We'll capitalize product. And I have done this before, so the computer is auto-filling these for me. Okay, and we're going to save that one. Okay, we're going to create some fields for product. Insert company ID. That's going to be an integer of 9. Save and insert. 
two is uh, the name field and that'll be a character and that'll have a length of 30 and then we're gonna go on to sequence of three okay the price field it's a little different that's gonna be a decimal let's look that up from the list decimal so that can have a length of uh, six with two decimal places because it's going to be a dollar amount and we can save that and do the index for this one all right so we have the index we insert a record we're going to go with the company ID name and price on the index and then we're going to choose save on that okay all right, now let's create an invoice table. And that will be at the heart of our invoicing system. Invoice, save. Okay, and the fields for this one are going to be um, customer ID. And this will link it right back to the customer table. Okay, and that'll be an integer of nine save okay let's insert okay we have two this field is order date and that'll be a date field and that has no length we don't need to specify a length on a, on a date field and then um, three employee who was the employee that made the sale not the employee manager, but the employee ID rep. And that's going to be an integer of nine. Because that's another uh, uh, connector uh, field. Okay, we're going to save that. And now we'll do the index for this table. Insert the index, go right down the line. It's uh, customer ID order date. Okay, we can save that. Okay, we have one table to go for this demo. So we go to the table, table, <laughs> and it really is a table, table, and we click insert, and this one is line item. Uh, uh, an invoice can have several line items. Okay, we save that. We start creating fields for it. Insert one. Okay, invoice ID. This is the parent. Integer of nine. Yep. An invoice can have many line items. Two. Product ID. Integer. A product can have many line items. Okay, this third field is not hooking up to a, a table, but it does have um, an integer of nine uh, numeric um, length, just like the other two fields, even though it's not a, a connector field. Okay, and then we finally have to do the index for this one. Insert invoice ID, product ID, and here we can add quantity as part of the sort uh, sequence. And we can save that. Okay, now let's add some data. Yeah, our database uh, is completed. Let's go over to the hop uh, feature, take us back up the hierarchy, and we're gonna switch over to data. We're gonna click one to browse or edit or edit our data. We have some other tables that we've already done. I have already created a table called company and I've already entered a record in that table called ABC company. Okay, and this is a brand new, uh, these are our brand new tables that we just created. So let's click on customer and insert a customer name. And we're gonna call our first customer uh, Sweet Co. So these are like wholesalers, you could say. 
Sweet Co. Inc. And let's uh, save that one. Okay, now the customer uh, table will appear in list view, and those are the two uh, entries that we just uh, added. Okay, now let's click uh, product. Yeah, so we have a couple customers. Now let's add some products for our company. Okay, we're going to insert, and we're going to uh, add a product of a candy cane and a price of a buck thirty-five on the candy canes. Okay, we'll save and insert. Next product is cotton candy. And the price on that is going to be a buck ninety-nine. Save and insert. Now my favorite, chocolate. And the price on that will be a buck forty-five. Okay, so we'll save that. And now if we uh, if we were to go back, we can uh, see our list of uh, see our list that we just entered, our list of products that we just added. Okay, now we're going to go to the employee table and add some records. Insert. We've got uh, Johnson, Harold, R. We're going to leave this blank for now. The employee manager. Later it'll make sense. Okay, we've got Fogel, Beatrice, S. Save and insert. And now we got uh, Hayes, Fred, E. Okay, now let's look at this list. Okay, let's say that his manager is uh, Harold. Okay, and we can save that. Yep, and now he's got his uh, manager specified. And if you look at it, yeah, the list was already populated by the um, employees that we just entered. Okay, so now let's go to uh, the customer table. We've entered employees and products. Now we're going to go to customer, and we're going to choose Sweet Co. And now we're going to have an invoice. We're going we're gonna to make a sale for our new company here. Okay, and we're going to insert, and we're going to add the following data. Okay, on the date field, um, we're just going to keep it simple. Yeah, 2003, 0801. And the employee rep on this one is going to be Fred Hayes. Let's save and insert. Okay, on this one, it was the next day, and the rep was Beatrice. Okay, we're going to save that. Okay, now we're going to click on the line items for her invoice. So she's made a sale, and uh, let's add the products for her. Okay, uh, line item, insert, add the following data. She had um, chocolate and uh, sold 12 chocolates. Uh, chocolate, sold even more chocolate. Okay, and then some uh, cotton candy, and the quantity on that was four. Okay, and then finally, yeah, we have uh, candy cane, and the customer only wanted uh, one candy cane. So let's save that. Okay, so now if we back uh, on that, and... Uh, Kind of queue things up. Yeah, here we can see that um, that the uh, light items appear in list view. So yeah, we have candy cane, chocolate, chocolate, and cotton candy. And we entered them in a different sequence, but they're appearing here in alphabetical order. What if we uh, sequence it by quantity? So here we just put in uh, one for the quantity and click OK on the sort order. And now here we have 1, 3, 4, and 12. If you have a blank row like this, uh, you can delete it like so. If you have delete uh, permissions. So then if we go back to line item, we have our four items. Enjoy the Traverser at www.thetraverser.com.